Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hello and God bless you for tuning in right now. I've no doubt the Lord is going to bless you tonight. I've no doubt that the Lord is going to minister to you. I put this one here so that you may know that we are about to pray for this nation and to speak the word of God to this nation. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me know where you are watching me from. Let me know whether you can get me round and clear. Oh, the blessing of God is going to flow. I am your host, Apostle Frank, and I have a very special message for this nation. Because this nation can never go where the devil wants. This nation cannot go to the drain. This nation... Mm -mm. The devil cannot ruin it the way he wants. We have traveled to nations and we know what it means when there is no peace in a, in a nation. And we are declaring as men of God who have the voice of God over this nation that whatever the devil is running and programming and strategizing about this nation, it shall never come to pass. As men of God, he has anointed us so that we may pronounce and release prophetic decrees to Kenya. I'm sorry for those who are not Kenyans, but I want you to join me right now because Kenya is on the verge of very many things the devil is planning. And I can see many people are tuned in. Thank you, Emmy Frank, Heron Wright, Lenny Pretty, Gotra, Riri Bella Baila, and... Uh, 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 Pastor John from Pakistan. I can see many people. Thank you so much, my daughter Pretty. Thank you, darling Emmy Frank. I can see you are watching. Thank you, Priscilla Kilo Kondinda. You are all watching. And may you turn and uh, tell everybody that Apostle Frank is live and is ready to read some prophetic words. I was saying, thank you, Leah Kare. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, Emmy Frank. Thank you, everybody that is tuned in right now. I was about saying thank you, Maggie Moyoro. Many people are tuning, and I'm sorry I'm, if I don't mention your name because I can see many of you, but I'm trying as much as I can to recognize all my viewers right now. I was about saying that if you are outside this nation, I know I have been a blessing to you. I know I have been bringing the word of God to you right where you are, and I know you have been blessed. And so I am saying this so that I may tell you that you may, you may connect with my faith right now. So that I may pray for this nation together with you, viewer, and believe God that Kenya will not go to the drain. Just a week ago, the Lord showed me many, many things about this nation, and about even especially the politicians. And God was showing me many, many politicians, some of them that lost, and then they caused mayhem and chaos in this nation. And we are declaring that there shall be no skirmishes in this nation. Do you believe it with me? Do you believe it with me? That there shall be no violence in this nation. If you believe it, shout in the name of Jesus. In Kenya, there shall be no violence. Praise the name of Jesus. And so as prophets and apostles and men of God that he has anointed, we are releasing a prophetic word in this nation that this nation shall be aligned and the Lord is going to give us the best leader especially now that we only have one day to the general erection we are believing that the president the governors the senators and all people that are vying for different elective positions god is going to give us the people that he has chosen for this nation in the name of jesus that's why i have a special prophetic word for this nation and i want to tell people do not fear do not be alarmed, but let us be in serious prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Serious prayer. I have a group right now that is praying 24-7. One uh, an hour on a chain on a chain of our prayer. And everybody is in prayer. Believing God. Today and tomorrow and Tuesday, there shall be no skirmishes. And even the times after that. The team that is in prayer, you know, Apostle Frank Ministries, you are in prayer, and I am believing God that whatever we are praying to God right now, if the Lord is going to answer us, it shall not come to pass what the devil has programmed. As a prophetic commander in this nation, I am declaring that this nation shall not go to the drain, and every prophetic one that the Lord has spoken to us in this nation, 
that Kenya is going to be a springboard of revival for the nations of the world. Because in another uh, in another part, the Bible says that uh, the Bible says uh, 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 that the Kenya shall send envoys, missionaries, messengers to the whole world. Kenya is on the verge of becoming the greatest nation in the world. Those who are in this nation, whenever you go and mention that you are from Kenya, everybody will want to connect with you and they love this nation because it is one of the nations in the world that has experienced peace for the longest time. And we are declaring as prophet, prophetic commanders, and we are declaring this as prophetic commanders, that the peace we have been enjoying, no politician will take it. No witch doctor will take it, no witch wizard will take it, no spiritist will take it, no mediums will take it in the name of Jesus. I want to see where you are watching me from. Just tell me where you are watching me from. I can see many people right now Maggie, Aaron, Maggie. We have people from Portugal, have people from India, have people from all over the world now. They are watching, and I am about to read a very prophetic word. I want us to worship the Lord with this word, with this song right now. As you tune in and tell me where you are watching me from, I want to recognize you right now. I can see Priscilla Kilokondinda is watching. Thank you so much, Emmy Frank, saying hallelujah and amen. I can see Masim Baria is watching, Maggie Muyuro is watching, Agatha is watching also thank you so much my daughters thank you so much my sons and Mary Shiko I can see you 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 Emmy Frank God bless you God bless you God bless you we are about to hold hands together now uh, with men all over the world so that we may declare for this nation that the purposes of God must come to pass the Bible says he declared and matter and it, is, it was established as men of God we are called to declare matters that are gonna be established. Thank you so much, Amy Frank, saying Amen and watching me. Are you doing? Tell me where you're watching me from. Thank you so much, Agatha. Hallelujah and Amen. Please tell me where you're watching me from. I can see Mary Shiko. You are watching me. Thank you, Master Barrier. You are watching from UAE and you are saying peace for this nation, peace for Kenya, peace for this nation. Oh, everything about this, this God is great and this nation is great. Praise the name of Jesus. Really bless somebody called Paul in your wish. Is watching and saying we are blessed and the, ne the, the devils cannot rule this nation. The voice of a church, the voice of the commanders in the spiritual realms called prophets and apostles and pastors shall be hand in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare today whatever the devil is trying to program it shall never come to pass. Thank you uh, Mary Shiko watching me from Nakuru. Thank you so much. I can see others are watching me from West Rams. Thank you Heron from Naivasha, you are saying peace in this nation. Oh, glory to God. I can see many people watching. Please tell me where you are watching me from. God bless you, Agatha. God bless you, Emmy Frank. God bless you, Eunice, Peter, Koisan. You are watching. Emmy Frank is watching from Karen. Thank you, Esther, Essie, Wamina. You are watching me. Please tell me where you are watching me from so that I may, that I, I may know that I have a big, big army out there. We are going to hold our hands together in the next few minutes after I release this word. Lord, you are great. Thank you, Father. We thank you for Kenya. Kenya belongs to Jesus. Kenya is the Lord. And nobody shall bring any violence in this nation. Oh, I can see S.E. Wamina watching me from Switzerland. Thank you so much, S. As we hold our hands together all the way from Switzerland, I am declaring that Kenya shall be a nation of the Lord. Kenya shall be redeemed and delivered. Kenya shall be saved from the hands of the devils. Thank you, Essie. And, uh, and I want you to just, Essie, if you're in a position, tell other people from there and your friends from there, especially those who are Swiss, that, that, that you hold hands together with them. And we believe God, as I am going to make this prayer, that Kenya shall be saved. Kenya is a nation which has a prophetic mandate. Kenya is a nation that has a big destiny. Thank you, everyone that is watching and liking this, this video. You can also share it, by the way. You can share it. You can share it. You can share it. 
so that many people shall hear what we are saying. Thank you, those who are watching from Switzerland. Thank you, Vijay Pastor. I can see Pastor Vijay all the way from Batara, India. Is it Rudyana or Batara? Or somewhere in Pajar, India. Thank you, Mogoro Wamatu. You are watching. Thank you, Emmy Frank saying Kenya is blessed. Praise the name of Jesus. VJ Pastor from India says, Praise the Lord. I can see Susie Karemi is watching. God bless you. Pray. God bless you. Uh, VJ Pastor from India says, Pray for me. I will be praying for you in a moment, Pastor. I uh, thank you. This was a great one of the one of my uh, my interpreters in India. And it uh, you did a great job, by the way. God bless you so much, VJ Pastor from India. God bless you, Mary Shiko. Just share that video. Thank you so much, Mary Shiko. Please share this video so that many people shall watch it because I want to speak the word of God in a very short while. But I will take you, I will take more time to pray than even to preach so that we may hear what God has to say for this nation. I will be praying for you, VJ Pastor. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be releasing a prophetic one for you all the way from Nairobi to India. I am now in the city of Nairobi, in the city of Kenya, in the capital city of Kenya called Nairobi. That's why I'm releasing this decrease form. S. E. Wamina says, God bless Kenya. Absolutely, Kenya is blessed. And no politician will take Kenya for granted. And no politician will take the peace of God in this nation for granted, I declare. Please tune in and tell your friends to tune in right now because Apostle Frank, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, is ready to bring the word of God to you. Thank you, VJ Pastor. Again, comes and says, My whole family is watching you this time. Thank you so much. And God bless you. God bless you, VJ Pastor, your wife and your family. I, you, you are really a big blessing when I came there. <laughs> oh, we were so grateful when we saw the cripples walking and the bride ears open and the, and the black bride eyes open and the deaf ears opening in India. The cripples standing on their feet, praise the name of Jesus. It was a great honor. Pastor Vijay was one of the greatest uh, the translators for me in India. And I'm so grateful when I came there. And I am going to plan to come back again there soon. The glory of God is going to be evident. And the Lord is going to give us an opportunity. Thank you so much. May God bless you, Mary Shiko. God bless this wonderful nation. I am about to read the word of God now from the book of Psalms chapter 33. And I will declare prophetically what God is about to do for this nation. And as you wait upon this word, God is going not going to, God is going not to disappoint anyone. Everyone that is, that is watching, God is not going to disappoint you yes it was very much blessed oh we are grateful you are you are confessing and testifying pastor vijay that it was great thank you esther peter please tell me where you're watching me from everybody 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 tell me where you're watching me from as you open the word of god in the book of psalms chapter 33 but i will be taking it from father's edge thank you so much vijay it was a blessing for Bajab. oh yes yes i came to Bajab somewhere in batala and ruthiana and amrista and uh, golden temple thank you so much that because you even took me to the border thank you because that testimony is still very fresh in me god bless kenya any frank says like that and i am believing god as i bring this prophetic word and this word is going to be aligning things and we are going to tell all the witch doctors that it shall not be because jesus loves kenya Praise the name of Jesus. Let me pray right now as you keep tuning. God bless you, Vijay. God bless you, Esther. God bless you, Amy Frank. God bless you, Agatha. Everybody's tuning. Many people are tuning. Vijay Pastor and other just share. They are sharing the video. Thank you so much. And God bless you right now. Everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything about you is great, including your name. I come nation with the blood of Jesus. And I declare that this nation. We are going to experience the greatness of God and success of God and the healing of God. And as I make this prayer, I declare the next uh, uh, Tuesday on the 8th of August, as we go to the polls, I declare that there shall be peace in this nation. And the mind that exalts itself more than the wisdom of God and brings people confusion to fight shall not take preeminence in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for everybody that is tuning. 
tuning in and even sharing this video. I pray that the blessing of God shall fall all over the world. People are watching from India, from Portugal, from uh, Pakistan, uh, and from uh, uh, Switzerland, from Kenya, from Nairobi, from all over, from Naivasha. I thank you because of your glory and your presence. I pray right now that the blessing of God is released in this nation. In the name of Jesus, you're going to give us the best readers. I thank you and I glorify your name for what you're about to do. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen. And Agatha is saying uh, amen and peace for this nation. And also thank you, group, my group, Apostle Frank Ministries, read by Amy Frank and Agatha. As we continue to pray and believe God that this nation will never go to drain, may the Lord bless you. Let's turn to the book of Psalms chapter 33 right now. I want to reduce that volume so that you can hear my voice very well. Verses 9, the Bible says, For he spake, that is the Lord, and it was done. He commanded, and it is stood still. Those are the ones, and I am going to be reading verse by verse and, and declaring peace for this nation. The Bible says, He spoke, and it was done. The first thing for this nation to realize is that the Lord has spoken about it. Actually, about her. God has spoken about Kenya. God has spoken about this nation. There are many prophetic words. There are very many prophetic words, statements about Kenya. And the Lord is saying right now that whatever God has spoken, it will be done. He commanded and it is to still. Tonight the Lord is commanding every violence to come down. And it is going to come down in the name of Jesus. You remember one time when Jesus was traveling with his disciples, the Bible says there was great storm and they woke Jesus. And when Jesus woke up, the Bible says he calmed the storm and said, peace, be still. Peace, be still. Today the Bible says that he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Whatever the devil has decreed and declared, we command it in the name of Jesus. Let it stand still. He has commanded there to be violence in parts of this nation. Let it stand still in the name of Jesus. He has declared that people will fight again along ethnic lines. We command it to stand still in the name of Jesus. It shall not come to pass. Will somebody shout hallelujah right now? The Lord has spoken about Kenya, yes. And it shall come to pass whatever he has spoken. We declare as prophetic commanders in the spiritual realms. Because now I am undressing the spiritual realms. Where the devil has set up his end quarters. We command all his works to be destabilized. To be nullified. To be annulled. To be rendered powerless. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I declare today that whatever the Lord has spoken shall come to pass. Look at what the Lord says in the book of, in the, in the next verse. Verse 10, the, Lord, the Bible says, The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. Would you shout hallelujah? Amy Frank shout hallelujah. Agatha say hallelujah. Vibi, Osio, Hannah Daniel, Mary Shiko. Will you say hallelujah to that? The Bible says the Lord brings the counsel of the heathen, of the wicked, of the non-believers to naught. Our media a few weeks ago showed us many witch doctors coming from outside this nation, coming to this nation so that they can perform magic, perform all those of their rituals and they are darkening and making the spiritual world to be defiled. Tonight we are declaring in the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring the counsel of the witch doctors to naught. I prophesy as a prophet of God right now. Every counsel of the wicked, ready to be brought to narrative in the name of Jesus. Ready to be brought to narrative in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight by the word of God, by the action of the Holy Spirit, whatever the devil has spoken, whatever the devil has decreed about this nation, may it come to naught. May his counsel come to naught. May his counsel and advice and whatever come to naught in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah, somebody. 
Shout hallelujah, somebody. The devil has, 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 has strategized and praised the demons and aligned them so that we will not have peace. But I command according to the word of God. May the Lord bring all that counsel of the devil, of the witch doctors, of the evil politicians to not. The Bible continues to say that he makes the devices of the people of none effect. None effect. None effect. Hey, hey, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Lord brings. He makes the devices. Device is a weapon. He makes that to a de weapon, a device of the people to be of none effect. To be of none effect. Anybody that has raised a weapon and device so that this nation shall fight. May all those devices be of none effect in the name of Jesus. May they be of none effect in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Say amen. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. He renders the devices of men and brings them and makes them of none effect. It will not have an impact. I'm reminded in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, the Bible says, none, uh, uh, there, none of the weapons that is found against us shall prosper. Shall prosper. Thank you, Noe Komuto. Thank you, Ores Saikuchi. Thank you, Emi from the Prince of Peace of Reigning. Thank you, Agatha. Rika Shandarama Takadabaramamo. Many people are watching and following this world. I am declaring every weapon, no, every weapon formed against this nation shall not, uh, shall not prevail. Because the Bible says it brings the devices of a weekend to none effect. That they will not have an effect in our lives. Oh, God. Praise the name of Jesus. None of the weapons and devices of the enemy will have any effect and impact in the life of Kenyans. I don't care your tribe. We are all Kenyans. None of us is a Kikuyu. Right now, none of us is a Luo. None of us is your tribe. Right now, we are Kenyans. We are holding our hands together and believing that this nation, any weapon, any device that the devil has sharpened for the sake of this nation shall never have this impact or effect. In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah, somebody. Shout hallelujah. The Bible says in verses 11, remember we are in Psalms chapter 33 and verses 11 right now. The Bible says the counsel of the Lord stands forever and the thoughts of his heart to all generations. The Bible says about the counsel and the thoughts of God, they will be everlasting. They will stand forever. The, the counsel of the Lord. And his thoughts. What are the thoughts of God for this nation? The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verses 11. I alone. The Lord says I alone. Know the plans I have for you. Plans to give you a future and a hope but not for warfare. You will not be fighting. We declare in this nation that the plans that the Lord has for this nation shall come to pass in the name of the Lord. We declare nothing. The devil is scheming and strategizing and planning to have an impact in this nation. We are speaking to the spiritual realm and we are declaring that the ones of Psalms chapter 33 and verses 11 the counsel of the Lord stands forever and his thoughts in his heart will stand forever in all generation those ones shall come to pass in the name of Jesus shout hallelujah somebody I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost I feel the power of the Holy Ghost pastors it is time to prepare because we gonna do a serious ministry that we have never done before we will do a ministry right never before because god is establishing this nation in a very special way we you shout hallelujah somebody glory to god i am coming to the heart of that scripture right now the heart of that scripture is verse 12 which is so called to me and to you everybody watching Thank you, everybody that is watching right now. God bless you. God bless you. I hope you are being blessed from all over the world. People are tuned in to watch the word of God right now live. And I am so humble that I could come to you right now. Verses 12, which is very, very, very cool to me. The Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Blessed is the nation 
whose God is the Lord, whose God is the Lord, <laughs> and the people whom he has chosen for his inheritance. I want to declare this is a prophetic one for this nation. Because Kenya is a nation whose God is the Lord. The Bible says that nation whose God is the Lord is blessed. Is blessed. May I declare to somebody right now watching this, right now and watching after this. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. The, the word blessed it means empowered to prosper. Empowered to prosper. Empowered to prosper. Kenya is empowered to prosper. We are declaring right now that Kenya is blessed to prosper economically in the area of security, in the area of education, in the area of commerce, in the area of agriculture. We declare Kenya is blessed in the area of trade. It is blessed. We you shout right now and say Kenya is empowered to prosper. Kenya is empowered to prosper. Kenya is empowered to prosper. Shout hallelujah. Oh my goodness, Kenya is blessed. The area of security is blessed. Education is blessed. Trade and commerce is blessed. Every merchant, every entrepreneur is blessed. I am declaring to everybody, even those who are watching us all over the world, even those that are watching us from outside this nation, you are blessed wherever you are, that you have your roots in this nation. You are blessed, that you are risen into me right now it doesn't matter where you are from you may be from the united states from switzerland from America, from nigeria from all over the fact that you are listening to me right now pastor mundaki we river i declare you are blessed in other words you are empowered to prosper praise the name of jesus Everybody watching me right now is blessed. Oh, seriously blessed in the name of Jesus. Will you say, I am blessed? Hit your chest and say, I am blessed. We will not look for anybody blessed again. I am blessed. Yes, Kenya is blessed. Just type there. God is, it, it, I am blessed. Just type here. I, oh, Betty Mama Shari. I am empowered. Just say, we, just write it there and say, I am blessed. Thank you, Emmy Frank. Type it. I am blessed. Betty Mama Shari, blessed. Agatha Muturi. You are blessed. Everybody watching right now is blessed. Kenya is blessed. And we cannot take the, oh my God, Mary Shiko, you are blessed, I say. Nothing shall take the blessing of God for granted. Nothing shall take this nation and take it to the hands of witch doctors. I am releasing a prophetic one right now and I am declaring it. Kenya is a nation whose God is the Lord. The Lord reigns in this nation. We go for crusades, we go for cashiers, we do all those ministries, we do all those meetings. We do evangelism, we do door to door, we do TV ministry. The media in Kenya has around the church to take preeminence. We are declaring as prophetic commanders and holding hands with you, 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 you. As we hold our hands together right now, we are declaring that the freedom of worship for the church of Kenya will not be taken for granted. It shall not be handed over to demons and witch doctors. Witch doctors will not have a place in this nation. The church will be on fire. Hey, hallelujah. The church will be on fire for Jesus and there shall be no witch doctor. We will be able to operate. I declare and release a prophetic word that witch doctors in Kenya will begin to pack the things that God leave this nation. Which doctors will leave? Which doctors will leave our country? Which doctors will leave our country? Oh, wizards and wizards, wizards, all oh, mediums and spiritists, all oh, diviners, they will leave this nation for good because there shall be no business for this nation. Will somebody shout hallelujah, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And I also declare in the name of Jesus that the 80% of Christians that we also always read are Rebo Shandala. I see people speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, somebody. The 80% Christians that we read and we are told and we hear is going to be a reality, especially after Tuesday when the next president is erected. I declare as a prophet that the 80% of Christians in Kenya shall be powerful, shall be firebrands, shall be anointed, shall be oreko te kombalina maasharebu. Ribonaina maselene kotoborina makazalanda. People will give their lives 
to Jesus through Facebook Live, through television, through through whatever media, people will give their lives to Jesus. And may I declare here, right, born Kate puts it. May I say, right, born Kate puts it to hell with the devil, to heaven, to paradise with the people. I say it again, right, born Kate puts it. I say to hell with the devil and to paradise with the people. People of Kenya shall give their lives to Christ. We do not care their 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 their, 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 their tribe. We do not care where they come from. We do not care where they have come from. We do not care your ethnic tribe. You that is watching now and later, you are my brother. You are my sister. I will not cut you. I will not kill you. I will not insult you. I love you. I am blessed you tonight. Blessed is the nation. Blessed is the nation. Whose God is the Lord? Who Yama Serebori Nama Kadayana? Kenyan preachers will be firebrands. They will go all over the world. And they will go all over the world. They will go all over the world preaching the good news. I will be moving all over this nation. Nothing shall stop us. We are declaring even to the embassies. They will not stop pastors from Kenya from going outside to preach in the name of Jesus. We declare we will get visas to all over the world so that we can preach the word of God to all the world. Because the firebrands, missionaries, envoys are coming from this nation and going all over the world. Missionaries will go and preach the word of God to the U.S. In Somalia, in Ethiopia, in Dubai, in Middle East. We will go to Saudi Arabia and preach the word. We will go even to Lebanon and preach. We will go even to Egypt and preach. Cairo, wait, we, we, Cairo, watch. We are coming in Portugal, France. We are coming. We are coming in Korea. The word of God must be preached all over the world. And the embassies will not deny us visas. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will give us visas so that we can preach the word of God because the Bible declares that the envoys will come from this nation to go and preach all over the world. Are you listening to that? Are you listening to that? Somebody, thank you, everybody that is tuning in. Missionaries, yes, yes, Emmy Frank, missionaries are gonna come of this nation. Agatha, we are we're gonna dead. De 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 Wherever you are watching me from, God bless you so much. From this nation shall all shall missionaries and envoys come from. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to fill everybody in the name of Jesus. Right? It happened in the day of Pentecost. We shall be having Holy Ghost services, weed conferences, and missions that are filled with the power of God. We are commanding everything to be aligned, including the finances to do this, including the visas to do it invitations from the whole world so that we can take this gospel to the whole world in the name of jesus blessed is kenya i want to read that verse very well blessed is the nation of kenya because god is her lord and blessed are the people of kenya because he has chosen them for his inheritance. God has chosen Kikuyuze, Embuza, Meruza, Oluoza, Luyaza. He has chosen them for his inheritance. Hey! You are watching right now. You are an inheritance of God. You are a property of God. Do not kill your neighbor. Do not be incited by a politician. Take it from me right now as your prophet. Take it from me right now. I am your prophet. You are an inheritance. Your brother is an inheritance. You, the other tribe is an inheritance of God. You should not kill the inheritance of God. Are we together somebody? Say in your heart, I will not cause division and so sins of discord to my brothers because you are the inheritance of God. Verse 13, very fast right now. The Bible says the Lord looked from heaven and behold all the sons of God. Now the Lord is looking from heaven and he is seeing what we are planning. He is seeing our minds. He is seeing what we are strategizing. He is seeing what we are scheming. The Lord is saying to us, he is watching from heaven and seeing the sons of men and searching their hearts to know what is in their heart. That is why anybody who has consulted mediums and witchcraft in this nation it will be extremely impossible 
for you to get a seat in this direction. It is completely impossible for you to be to be erected in if you have consulted mediums and spirits unless you repent right now. Because the Bible is very clear. It is very clear. The Bible says the Lord looks from heaven and beyond all the sons of men. He sees what you are doing. Why can't you consult God? Why can't you inquire it from the Lord? And ask the Lord, Lord, give me the favor. Lord, give me the favor that I may be erected. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 14. From the praise of his habitation, he looked upon the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. He considers all their work. There is no king said by the multitude of an host. Even the kings that are going to take over. The president, the governor, the senators who are going to take over. The Bible says that there is no king who will be saved by the multitude of his host. A mighty man will not be delivered by much strength. That you have so many strengths. That you have so much money. There are people who will be erected that have no money. There are people who will be erected that have not, do, not, do, not have a, that do not have so much works. Yes, it is true. That's what the Bible says. That you may not have many hosts, but the Lord is going to give you because you have consulted. Because you have consulted. You have inquired of the Lord. God is going to give you a seat. God is going to give you an erective position so that you may bring blessing unto this nation. This nation we declare from the coast, from the northeastern, from the east, from the west, from the north and from the east. If there's leaders that shall be erected, shall be God fearing. We put in the parliament readers that will be God fearing in the name of Jesus. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. The Lord is saying, This eye is upon them that fear him. If you fear the Lord, then the eye of the Lord is upon you. Upon them that hope in his mercy. The eye of the Lord. I, I think I should stop it. There. The eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. The hand of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Because his eyes shall look upon this nation. Kenya is a destiny land. People have come here. Right now, the eyes of the whole world are on Kenya to see how things shall go. But there are others who are releasing demonic statements and declaring that Kenya shall not prevail. I am declaring that there shall be prosperity and success in this nation. Every sector in this nation shall be healed. Especially pastors that love God, that fear God, that are stood in righteousness. This is your time. Stand firm. Stand firm, Pacha Muriel. Stand firm, Sunitha, Agatha, Amy Frank, uh, and myself, and many people that are watching right now. Let us stand firm. Because this is our season to be lifted. That's why erections are coming on the 8th of 8th. Double beginnings. Double new beginnings. Because 8 is the number of beginnings. New beginnings actually. After the seventh day, the first the, the seventh day, God rested, and then the eighth day was a new week. Erections will be held in this nation on the 8th of August. 8-8. Eight, 8-8. Eight, 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 eight is a prophetic number in the word of God. Therefore, we should be having new beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings in this nation. New beginning in the area of education. Academics, agriculture, security, education, every sector of trade, tourism, every sector. The Lord is going to make it begin afresh. New beginnings in the name of Jesus. We prophesy new beginnings. We prophesy new beginnings. We prophesy new beginnings in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for this nation right now. And I declare that this is what we will be singing. This is what we will be singing. On the 8th, after the 8th. We will sing like this. Listen.
I've never seen your kind go. This kind go do. Let's be your holy name. This kind go do. This kind go do. I've never seen your kind do. This kind go do. Let's be your holy name. This guy God I've never seen I've never seen your cry go This guy God This guy God Hallelujah in the name of Jesus This kind of God we have never seen is time I am lifting this flag right now to declare that in this nation there shall be peace there shall be peace. There shall be peace. You can see the red, the white, the green. You can see the black. Oh, I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. I want to pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want us to hold our hands together right now. I want, to, I want us to hold our hands together right now. And pray for this nation in Jesus' mighty name. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, I have released prophetic decrees, and the word has come to your people in a special way. Now they are all over the world holding their hands together with mine. And we are believing God for this nation that there shall be no violence, there shall be no skirmishes in this nation. Anybody orchestrating evil is defeated and rendered powerless and all the counsel of the wicked are brought to naught. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am holding my hands right now to my friend, to the, my fellow countrymen, Kenya, and to my fellow friend that is watching this world. I am declaring right now in the name of Jesus that there shall be no violence in this nation. Anybody that has consulted witchcraft, everybody that has offered sacrifice to the devil, we render them powerless in the name of Jesus. On the 8th of August, may you give us new beginnings in the name of the Lord. May you give us a wonderful time in your presence in the name of Jesus. We bite every devil right now. We bite every work of the enemy right now. We declare the enemy is defeated. All his forces are cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare right now in the name of Jesus that the blessing of God is coming upon this nation in a special way. I declare the grace of God is coming in this nation in a special way. Give us a president that fears you. Give us governors that fears you. Give us senators that fears you. Women rights that fear you. And MCAs that fear you. MPs, members of parliament that fear you. Are the ones we are praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover this nation with the blood of Jesus from the east to the west, from the north to the south. We declare peace in this nation. Every border of this nation is protected. We buy the spirit of our Shabbat that have been attacking this nation every now and then. We are declaring right now in the name of Jesus. Read the blessing of God overtake them. Read the blessing of God overtake them. Read the blessing of God overtake them. Let the blessing of God overtake them. Let the blessing of God overtake them now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are declaring right now that this nation is blessed from the coast to the to the to the to the, to the north, northeastern parts of this nation. The seven all the seven provinces of this nation are blessed. Father, we bless the coast, we bless the northeastern, we bless the eastern, Nairobi, we bless the Rift Valley, oh God, the central, we bless even the, 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 the Nyansa province, those provinces of this nation, they are all blessed, those who speak different languages, those who speak Kikuri, who speak uh, Elu, those who speak Luya, those who speak all languages. We command a blessing upon every man. Today you have said that we are your children and we are your inheritance, O oh God. Therefore we are declaring in this nation, nothing shall prevail that the devil has programmed. 
no thing the devil, no device that the enemy has sharpened shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Any of his weapon that he has sharpened, we render powerless, we bring to naught, we declare his defeated in the name of Jesus. And as men of God, we release prophetic commands, prophetic words, prophetic decrees in this nation. There shall be no more war in this nation. In the name of Jesus, we declare we shall be one. We declare we shall be blessed. We declare we shall be lifted. Those that you will make president, those that you will make opposition leaders, we pray, O oh God, that they shall come together for the sake of this nation and never bring it to ruin. In the name of the Lord, we thank you this evening. We know you have heard us, O oh God. Kenya is your nation. Please, Father, we pray. May you dwell in this nation. May you dwell in this nation. May your presence dwell in this nation. May you raise men and men, men and women who fear you, O oh God. May you raise men and women that honor you. May you raise pastors after your own heart, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bite every devil. I bite every demon. I bite every witchcraft. I bring it to none right now. And I declare the devil is under our feet as men of God. We are releasing commands in this nation and declaring that the spiritual of uh, the, the, the heavens shall obey this one. The atmosphere shall obey this one that I am releasing right now. I declare peace for this nation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, everlasting God. We bless you because you are mighty and you are gracious. Thank you because of what you are doing, oh God. Thank you for this nation. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our children. Everything about God shall prevail. And everyone that you have declared for this nation shall come to pass. We thank you, Father. And we hope you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. And amen. And amen. Kenya is blessed and nothing can say otherwise. Any device that the devil has skimmed is brought to naught this time. I thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Honorable Joseph Kanye Kinyori, Daniel Peace, uh, Wathanga, Lisa Colin, and Sunitha, and uh, Agatha, and Emmy Frank. Of course, I am so grateful that you turned to this program right now. I am releasing everybody to release prophetic words to this nation. And this is going to be a great nation. And every sector of it is blessed. Is blessed. Is blessed. Is blessed. You that has watched this and has heard this word, you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. And may the Lord keep you in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. If you are not saved, it's good to remember to say this prayer after me so that you may get saved. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I need the saving grace. Save me now. Write my name in your book of life. In Jesus' name, I get saved. Amen. If you got saved, look for a Bible-believing church. Go to a church which preaches the word of God. Just go there and be a member there and say you got saved when Apostle Frank was preaching on Facebook Live. And you are now a creature, a son of a living God. God bless you so much. Have a nice time. Thank you for tuning in. May this word reach many. And please may you share this video so that it can reach many people. And many people shall hear what the Lord has spoken to me. God bless you. Shalom and shalom and shalom to Kenya and shalom to this nation. Hallelujah. Glory to 